Hey, good evening. This is Juanita Rogers with Living in the Word Ministries. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'm asking that you would subscribe, like, and share. Hey, wanted to share something with you on this evening. Um, in this season of our life, especially those who who are probably older, um, have lived life for a while, or you may look back on your life, you may look at where you are right now, you may seem a little disgruntled because you thought you would be further along in life, and you're not there. Now, sometimes in this season, you know, you really have to hear the voice of God for yourself because people will tell you, well, oh, it's not the season. Even the devil will tell you, oh, it's not the season. And your life is halfway over. And I think in this season, we really have to take a hard look at ourselves. Some of us are not further along mainly because of the choices that we made. Uh, the lack of diligence, the lack of focus. You know, we're looking at God strange because it's like, okay, God, <coughs> excuse me, so sorry. Sneeze, it felt good though. <laughs> Forgive me. Um, we may look at God strange. It's like, well, this hasn't happened. This haven't. Well, how you really, you got to ask yourself some hard questions. Have you really put your hand to the plow? When you knew that you sensing that God was somewhere, his hand was on your life for such a season, for certain things to come forth in your life, did you really put your due diligence into it after you prayed that prayer? Did you actually put your hands to the plow and being focused and being diligent and keeping it before God in prayer and doing what you're supposed to do? You know, if it was a specific trade or specific career that he wanted to switch you out into or a ministry, did you really put in your due diligence? Did you really put your hand to the plow? Have you really been focused? And the things that it took to, to make those things to come to pass, you knew God had some things in store for you, and yet you have not reaped it yet. Because a lot of us, we don't, we're not focused. We allow ourselves to be easily distracted. There are certain relationships that God told you to let go some of you, God told you he wanted you to have you to himself in those seasons, and you didn't do it. You were in relationships with men or women on both sides, you know, uh, certain things, you know, certain thought processes he was trying to deal with you in, in those seasons. And I'm not saying that it's over, because God still can perform his promises, and some of you going to get it after you get this message. Some of us are where we are because we don't put our all into it we we're we, you know we're easily distracted um and we just kind of lag you know we, we don't pay attention to his promptings or we don't move with his promptings and so we blame god and i want to tell you i'm going to tag this title stop blaming god for your lack of obedience for your lack of diligence for your lack of focus some things are because yes the enemy has his hand in it and he has caused delay because you allowed him to. You allowed him to be on your ground instead of getting him off. And the way to get him off is through prayer, consecration, fasting, and doing the work. Doing what God has called you to do. If years and years have gone by on basic necessity stuff and you haven't gotten, it's because of you. And you allowing the enemy to do certain things. No, there are certain things that God has told us to do that we have not done. Or we've done it and it's been with a slack hand. It's not been with a full forging and going forth in God. We're kind of lagging. Our cup is not full, if you understand where I'm coming from. We're not putting our all into things because our attention focus is pulled by different distractions that the enemy that is sending because he knows you're on the verge of a major breakthrough on the very thing that you've been asking God for. You asked him for it because he prompted you to ask him for it because it's his will to give it to you. 
especially if you've been faithful in the things of God, you've been faithful over the few, now he's really ready to make you rulers over many. Those are some hard questions you have to ask yourself. Okay, God, what have I done and what have I not done? Some things God will just do for you, but some things you're going to have to work at. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And the very fact that God is bringing forth this message and you're coming up on this video lets you know that God is still in the business of wanting to bless you. That it's not over. You just need to get on track. You need to get in that lane, that God zone. And being on focus, being on track, being in the place that God has called you to be. Inwardly, being aligned your thoughts being aligned, casting down every imagination and every high thing that would exalt itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity unto the obedience of Christ, putting on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, taking on the heaven of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, shot in your feet with the preparation of the gospel, taking on the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, putting on the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, being aligned inwardly, the disposition of a heart, operating from a place of humility and gratitude and thanksgiving. You know, and being on it and staying on it. Not on it this day and the next day you're off. Not on it again the next day and the next, the next day you're off. This up and down, no. Being inwardly aligned, always increasing and abounding in the work of the Lord. So let's not blame God for our stuff, for the things that we can fix and handle, that God has empowered us to do. The things that we can take care of. Like remain prayerful. Staying in the word, meditating on the word, being watchful of your thoughts. Paying attention to his promptings when he say move. And, and just because I'm bringing it, don't mean I ain't guilty of it. Don't let me fool you. Because he had to hit here before he comes here. And so I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Don't blame God for your stuff, for where you are right now. Now, don't get me wrong. There may be sometimes God will have us in a holding pattern because he knows we're not ready. Some things we're not. It takes time. But you have to be able to really discern if that is it. Or is it really God having you in a holding pattern? Or is it because you're allowing the enemy to be in some places that he has no business being in? On your ground. In your thoughts. In relationships, the things that God has told you to let go, let it go. Do it quickly. Do it expediently. I don't care how good looking he is, how good looking she is. If God has told you to let them go, let them go. If God has told you to get out of that career, get out of that career. Move forward. He's not going to leave you hanging. God is a God of decency, decency and order. He does everything line up on line, precept upon precept. And so God will give you the wisdom. Now, I'm not telling you to be hasty, but be prayerful about every move, bringing God into everything where you're not sure. You know, God will send confirmation. He'll send others to confirm what he has said. He's not going to put you out there uh, to fail. That's not his heart. That's not his nature. God is a good father. He's a good shepherd. But I just wanted to just to put this out here and on the air today that stop blaming God for certain things. Stop blaming God for things that you are responsible for, that he has given you the power. He has empowered you to do and go forth and take care and handle. You know, the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. And delayed obedience is disobedience. And so, like I said, I'm right here too, keeping it right here also. But I'm sharing with you, stop blaming God. And really take a hard look, take some inventory of yourself, of the things that you know that are a hindrance, you know the enemy is on your ground in certain areas, and that second heaven is in operation over your life, because you allow him the open access through your thoughts, through your conversations, what you may be watching on TV, what you may be listen to, uh, listening to through music, 
you got a door open that may cause a hindrance and certain things from flowing into your life that you know that are of God, that will be a blessing to you and other people. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. This is very short. It's not going any further, but you be blessed, be prayerful, be discerning, be watchful of your surroundings, those who are in your space. Be watchful and be wary of ungodly counsel. I don't care if they are your friends and your family. If it does not line up with the word, discard it quickly. And whatever God has told you to let go, flee it quickly in this season. In Jesus' name. So you be blessed, be encouraged. Know that God is still with you. He's not going to leave you. And you're going to enter into that good land. You will eat the good of the land. I'm speaking that and I'm declaring that. I'm decreeing that over my life and your life. We will. We have not come this far. We have not come this far to fail. To not get what God has for us. The inheritance in this earthly realm. Not in the realm to come. We know that's coming. But what God has for us while we're here in the land of the living. There's something. There's some things that God has for us. And so... We're not going to miss it. I'm speaking that and I'm declaring that we will not miss it. You will not miss it and I will not miss it. No longer. If we've been off track, we're getting on track today. And we're moving forward, people of God. Know that I love you. God bless you. Thank you for visiting my channel. Please subscribe, share, and like. Have a good evening. Take care of yourself. Be blessed until we see each other again.